Uh, hey, how's it going guys? This is Olaf from Stop Me O Channel. Uh, today we are playing a new game called Oxen Free that was released a couple of months ago. I was recommended this game because it's apparently quite similar to Life is Strange and I'm always looking for anything Life is Strange similar or related because I love this game, I absolutely love Life is Strange. But yeah, gotta play some other stuff from time to time, right? I started off this game, but I'm gonna restart it and play it again because I only did a couple of minutes. Yes, that's fine. We are playing as a person named Alex. Ironically, this is sort of my name. But I thought it was a guy, but turns out it's a girl. So that's okay, right? We're on a boat going to this island. It used island. to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Not very Alex? certain about these subtitles, hey, like they don't us? look very. You haven't said anything uh, for like ten minutes. Drifted. Yes, yeah, my my mind drifted for a second. So it's eight p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. Oh, so it's a and stepbrother, you guys just met stepsister. Yeah, I was, what? um, they met I'd tonight. been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool head. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Like Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your... No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? He's a brother, no? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. Well, thank you. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, huh. we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Her hair is blue. Check under your like seat to make sure you don't strange. leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They These always subtitles play. are a bit awkward, like oh, it's just oh, too much on the screen and I don't All like the phone, but that's fine. This will be like the before shot. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. Uh, pose, right. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. It's getting kind of dark. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Uh, sorry. C kick the table. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Uh, sure. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh! Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with 
baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Hmm. What does oxen free actually mean? I'm not even... I'm not even sure. I know it's like a supernatural kind of game where you have to figure out how to get off uh, an island, I think. So my hair is blue, which Smell is that nice. clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Since Last now. time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Being polite. You should try it sometime. Okay, Polite, just smoking. remember, aim to throw up in the water. I do it too sometimes. Here's the smoke if you want it. No. Or... What? Oh, okay. So we interact using space, I guess. So it's like a bonding thing, you know? Brother, sister. You alright? Uh, They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in <clears throat> flavor country over here. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Jonas, come on. I vouched for you sight unseen and you're already acting super weird. And I appreciate the voucher, I do, and I'm not trying to seem weird. I just want two minutes alone, that's it. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet no, up. No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Look like she's being rude, um, like whenever okay. she wants to say something. I guess. She just says... Though this is a really she strange just way says to start it off splitting up. It'll be she, fast. She's not like waiting man. for someone to end the sentence. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Okay, Ren seems nice. Want? He's funny, you know? Yeah, Reminds me of a guy I know back funny. home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say oh, you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. Look and like, him. getting a new family at the same time kind uh -huh. of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Well, how do you think I feel? My house just shrunk by half because my mom decided to get some in Florida. <laughs> get some. <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my that old... That was, um... That was Mike's room. Who's actually. Mike? So... Dead brother. There wasn't that probably. much to set up. Oh. So now oh, he's replacing man, that sorry. brother. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't know. I brought it up, not you. Uh, what? That's awkward. I, I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Moving around feels quite nice, like you don't really have to walk only straight and back. You can also go other directions. Oh, I keep turning on this oh, radio. I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. What radio? I think they said it's 102.3. The 
This is actually a best radio station where I live. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never under heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October War 28th, 1943, is hell. Was <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the oh. 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting and Satan or dinosaurs or something. Submarine casualty in a named after the Hawaiian well, god of the sea, I the USS go. Kanaloa okay. was launched on January 15th, 1941. <laughs> Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be well, further off, here. so be Maybe quick I now. Want to buy an okay, ornament speed or redefinition of Edwards what? Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh -huh. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there- oh, okay. So... We are here, let's Main Street, Discovery Clue, Cliffs, where are we going? Mm. Okay. There's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean... Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, Aww. the town's use Look keep at the me whole and my brother and bonding thing over alive and well. No, 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 no I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. Look at and them. the other thing is like a spider. Is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds, and they're impossible. It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. No idea so what back I'm doing up a second. Really. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. I can't imagine. How do I do this? I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. The same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And oh. actually, you know what? Speaking okay, of see. the opposite of those certain someones... Sorry about that, I'm Drum a bit roll, slow. Please. Jonas, did you know that a little bird... Those dialogues are a bit like... Awkward, like two people are talking at the same time or one person doesn't really finish up the sentence. And Alex is sort of rude. 9pm, so it's been an hour already. Like, let's go. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should... I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Be the cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, oh, was... Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl in a strange town and fitting in and every stupid cliche you can think of. I'm not... It's not what it was, really. I just like to take the time to make proper introductions, that's all. <laughs> uh, okay. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. We're just... one. Hmm. 
hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. Am I wrong to think that there's <laughs> some the sort of chemistry and between will be enough, I'm Jonas sure. and wait, 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 wait. myself? You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. You know, like um, what's your Jamie name again? Lannister, so that sort of thing. is Clarissa. How but are she's you a really sibling, like, so it's What does okay. that even mean? Um. My mom married his dad, so family law and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? I already Anyone? asked. Anyone? No one told Everyone? me. Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, Ooh. I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, so Jonas, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Ren. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm Alex. friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. Is this and Nona? And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget the So there is five of us, me and my stepbrother slash possible romantic type of thing, or am I wrong to think so? And then there is a Ren and those two girls that have no idea what what are their names. Fire! Man's great equalizer. And who made so this fire? So what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and oh, get murdered can, by Jason Kruger. Pick up a rock. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. With what? So, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear... Clarissa, this. come on, you're supposed to ask, like... Have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, what? ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Okay, so this is Clarissa? Yeah. What? No, this game Clarissa. isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach oh, ache. that's Clarissa. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Marissa, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. 
You're not gonna call her out on that? She does seem like the... No, I believe her. I mean, look at edgy me. Edgy and bad type of person. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuff? Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Oh, look at Ren. He's just so sad because he, he was killed. Oh Whoops. my god, if you can't even speak, your turn gets skipped. Disappears Is it really my fast, question no? now, then? Yep. Oh, I missed Okay, oh, Clarissa. Um, last person you made out with. Oh, uh, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great. This should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I den. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. He, uh, seems okay. Right? Oh, that's okay. okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that Alex is... They had... it was just issues, like any other marriage, and they just couldn't get past theirs. That's complete crap, I know you know why, specifically why, just come out oh, with look it. look at this. I'm a ghost. I quit, okay? I'm not playing anymore. I don't care about winning if this is what this is. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be Pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or them, playing Ring Around the Rosie and I'm not even happen there. to find anything more interesting than where, a slowly dying starfish- you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Why so many stars, Jesus. Gonna take forever. Alex, you wanna check out the caves or? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Wait, wait for me. Where are you? Where are you? Come going? on, I'll push you oh, over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked Whenever about Whenever you're ready. Oh, what? Their date? Yeah, he. Uh, Unless I get a crink in my back, carnival? which might <laughs> you happen if you don't go soon. <laughs> I don't know. So what happened? They just—it was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks, and they like she wanted something like a named thing. Oh God. Yeah, like like a some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't oh, know what she was talking so he about. Was waiting for and me John, of course, time. is all nervous. So, and they basically the cave, got kicked out, so what's your bets? Get to see on a scale me, of like, 1 to stuff. 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of where gym do class. Where I go? I have no idea That was a joke, go. and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, oh, no. you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. No, really, I just want to go inside the cave. Okay, so see these little piles it? of rocks? Okay. The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Mm -hmm. How will we know it's this Morse when it's... Code. You'll know. Trust me. So, just pull out your radio. It is out. Don't you see? Any day. Oh. While we're young... <gasps> Holy crap! Oh. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. How... How oh, is this... How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I know, also, like, Twin Peaks were, like... Basically, it's very 80s. Similar. X Files kind of stuff. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they. they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Mm hmm. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It's freaking me out a little. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound mm. stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. No, no, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. Doesn't really rhyme, but whatever. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Yeah, Jonas! I'm trying to climb to Well, I am going to just oh. rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Right, so Clarissa is Mike's ex-girlfriend and Alex is Mike's brother, a sister and Mike's is dead. So my new brother is Jonas. This is Ren, my brother, my best friend. I get it now. So an hour passed, we are climbing down a cave. Sort of. Jonas. 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 Mm, okay. Mm. 
sort of reminds me of Trine. Trine 2. Have you played it? Yeah. It's just visually similar to Trine 2. Mm. Okay. if any of the things that I said uh, make any difference to our story. I'm not really sure. Debris. Ah. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? An ashtray and a pen. A man about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear yeah. me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It hmm. sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. I guess it stopped. <sighs> there was a light in here some- Like what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Saw the man, but not the dog. Apart from the, um... Triangle? This is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some like water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. But I was just gonna say that I think the triangle looking things like a rainbow or something. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? What's this triangle floating? I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Well, if I did... Neat! I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Mm -hmm. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good amazing, idea. Amazing. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Hmm. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Do you not see me working out this radio, Jonas? Hmm. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Well, I'm looking, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, I already tried. <sighs> Does are you gonna make me beg? Doesn't sound very good. But why are you like making this so hard on me, Jonas? Don't you see me like changing radio? Oh, please, Alex. Please, let's do the tuning thing. Oh. Oh my this God. Sounds disturbing. Is this are you? Is What's this happening? You? Are you doing this? What's happening? Should should I stop? No. This is awesome. Well, what should I do now? Look at the 
triangle upstairs. Uh, upstairs, Jesus. This, the one, the top of the screen. What am I supposed to do then? I, I I don't know what you mean, so I can't. Bob to leave children. Bye. Soon. Alex. Jonas. Oh, what happened now? Not really. What happened? So I think we opened up some sort of portal with possibly like supernatural uh, abilities, perhaps. Alex! Alex! And I think our job is to close it now that we've opened it up. Oh, so an hour passed. We are somewhere Alex. else. Alex! <sighs> are you okay? Hmm. You alright? <sighs> what happened? That is a very good question. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm just gonna cut oh, okay. to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. Mm. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... So we have to find yeah, out. Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but it's like weird and crazy and magic, so... Is I mean, thinking about don't you want to... No, I don't. Whatever you're gonna say, unless it's leave, I don't wanna at all. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really... Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. Maybe that's your Wednesday. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Mm-hmm. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something mm -hmm. was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Mm-hmm. I like the way this tower looks. It reminds me of a Firewatch tower. I can see the it? cave. You gotta play it. But not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Mm -hmm. Probably the same thing as us. 
transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. Mm-hmm. It's locked. Let me try. Yes, but guess what? What exactly can you do except Ooh, look at him go. more? Oh, you'll see. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? And he, That's not an expression. And he says like he's never been in jail. Like, look at him go, like... He knows what he's doing. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. See? I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older Vox. Mm -hmm. Huh. Cool. Right, let's have a look around. What can we do around here? Okay. Radio, machinery. How does this thing? Generator. And phone. Phone. It might huh. work if. Look at the radio. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. I don't want to have to guess a code. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Communications tower. Alex? <laughs> Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. So hey, he did you know it. that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. Yeah, it's, right. it's a code written right. on this think, list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like... Like, just the worst Why? thing. Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? I'm gonna Jonas? blame Ren no, on whatever like happens said, to I us. I must have, like, passed out, or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, He's acting kind of weird. I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I, I don't remember like the last hour. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys Look, want to- Look, Clarissa, just- you have a radio, work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Wait, Alex. Ren? Just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really... not great. Look, Alex, just... whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, oh, no. ladies and gentlemen. Clarissa, don't you what? still there? Don't what? Oh, for Christ's She hung sake. up too. Of course. So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. The fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Mm-hmm. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Clarissa has a walkie-talkie, so Ren can just sweat it out for an hour. Sound logic. I picked Clarissa because it's... Ren seems to be the obvious choice. So, US Army. Hmm. Milner Outpost. So, we gotta go right? 
and red would be uh, here, so that's further away. I think we gotta go and see Clarissa, because it right. seems Our like the game doesn't have want us to go commenced. there. Let's get this done and get off this rock like and she has the radio. badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children. Jonas, I'm not certain don't I can get trust of any of these people. Act like, as if. I don't know say, if this, act as if. this is what we are meant to do, like limit our trust. But it seems to me that there is something off happening. And I don't really trust Ren for some reason. Because he was acting weird. But I wonder what he wanted to warn us about, so... Are you going? Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Hardened Tower. <laughs> Couldn't have named it anything else, huh? Wait, so... Not really certain how to go there now. We'll figure it out downstairs. So, fence is off. So, we can open these. It's fine. Perfect. A hardened tower or epiphany field. I can't remember which one was which. But we are meant to go right, I think. Music is quite cool though, no? Very 80s electric sort of stuff. So even the, the logo, like, it's, it's sort of trembling, so it's probably like some electricity supernatural How are related. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Just checking, you know. Okay. How are you? Milner Outpost, yeah. Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better. Good talk. No. Where is the Milner Outpost? I think here. Yes. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Whoa. Damn it, is, is this thing working? If That's anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort <laughs> Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or gym. something? Well, oh, okay. she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? Mm -hmm. But, and hear me out... Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted, keep out, and well, they're not messing around. Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. Hmm. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Nothing to do here. Why did I climb up here? Hmm. So it's sort of like Stranger Things, right? When, you know, uh, the the Demagogon was communicating through electricity. Facilities. So I think we might have to go to facilities, because Jim is a facility, right? Am I right? I'm gonna have to door, okay. It's like it's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, what do you think? Keep looking. I think she's here. Really? I mean the door could be blocked by anything. It it could have been blocked before she even got here, right? I don't know. I just I don't know. I just have a hunch about this one. The rest are too... Like, I don't know. Too locked, if that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't, but... 
Okay, let's find a way in, I guess. Okay, how do I do it? Can I, like, climb it or something? Well, she said she's at the gym, so we have to find the gym. That's easy peasy, but... I hope I can trust my stepbrother at least. He seems alright, I like him. He will be my friend. Uh, there are signs, so just don't say anything. Oh, look at him. Hmm. She has a radio that we might be able to connect with her somehow. What is this? Mm -hmm. I wonder, could this be one of them dead booby traps? Hmm? Could be! Booby traps? What? I heard booby traps, but I don't think that's possible. I wonder, could this be one of them there booby traps? Booby traps? Mm -hmm. Could booby. be! Hmm. We have to climb on this tower uh, with our radio and then we might be able to pick up some communication from Clarissa and then she will tell us what to do because I have no idea what to do and I cannot leave unless I found Clarissa. I made it. Jesus Christ. That was exhausting. I gotta remember to always have this radio on. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Dinner time. 
It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. What, <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? <gasps> oh. All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio man. Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been like a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, freaked really? me out, man. This Even automatic me out. doors like in supermarkets. Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we got to go anyway. Sorry. Hmm. I'm going to have my radio on all the time from now on. Man, I just wasted 15 minutes walking around. Oh, this is kind oh, of... Oh, no, 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 no. Dark. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Mm. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? Mm, careful there. I'm just... No, not at all. I mean, he, he was always so busy with school and, like, he was, like, always dating somebody, but it, stuff like this... I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, huh? right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... But what do you think Mike saw in Clarissa, really? Other than, I guess, the obvious? Look, Jonas. Girls go for assholes and guys go for psychos for the same stupid... Hey, that's... Clarissa! Clarissa! Wait, 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 did you go, Jonas? Jonas, Jonas? what happened? Are, are you alright? Why, why, why would you leave me alone? Don't do this. Jonas, let me in! I'm not in the mood! Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't want to be left alone, are you kidding me? I get scared. Jesus, that's, that's a mirror, right? No worries, it's so cool. It's cool. It's okay. Testing, oh. testing. Um, okay. I can't I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here and it's just a room, so like riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Hmm. Uh yeah. Hold on, I'll check. I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Yeah, it's like a padlock. Connected to radio, right? I'm <gasps> NAD5273. Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know what? his mom's dead. What, what is? And I mean, you saw Clarissa too, right? Like that wasn't just me, because there's like nothing in here. There's no way she could have like. There's no back. I'm gonna write that down. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ, and this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know. But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want. Oh, so it opened. Okay, oh, what there we go. just happened? Because oh, that, that sucked. It's a, I guess, a one way lock? I just wish one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Oh, here's a padlock code 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, okay. so great. Hey, did I... 
Did, did you see that? In in the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, Siri? Fatherly? It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. So where do we go now? Scary. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. And it didn't happen, so okay. let's just carry on. So, US Army, Army thing, there was the place where... <gasps> oh god, do you see this? Yeah, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of people who are in a photo who were oh, actually in the room. I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway... No. <sighs> come on, it'll just take a second. No. Nope. <laughs> I'll force it out fast. This is... <sighs> he volunteered for submarine service. Hey, what was that? What was that? That sounded like a door. Is somebody out there? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like... Relax, honey. Hello? Is this thing... Is this... Oh. God, is this... Is this going out or... Wait, I can... Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not... Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, whoa, so... Whoa, whoa. We still gotta get to her. What's happening? Hmm. This door is way opened. Uh... What? Handprints. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. <laughs> what was that? You, you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. We deserted this post under fire. Now, in making an example of you, I... Hmm. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! Man, when we catch up, I'm gonna tear... It's gonna be limb from limb. It's gonna be like she wasn't wearing seatbelts when I'm finished with her. God! Okay, all right, I know, she's a hoot. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. Well, no. Let's go and check upstairs. Oh no, I was already here, huh?
Oh, don't go there. Oh, oh. This went red for a second, so that's alright. We can check this out now. But it's like it's faint red, it's not the proper type of red. The following individual, it is maintained, is enveloped in a radiance, invisible to the carnal eye, and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. What? Charlie 6. Every individual, it is maintained, is enveloped in a radiance. Mm -hmm. Something's happening again. And just as guilty as a soldier would be. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Ah. Uh. God. Can you? Oh, are we playing? Are we playing Hangman? Uh, no, I can't. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, Mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the mm -hmm. allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this this isn't how you play Hangman. Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. Okay. Ready. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's I not know. Our friends are finding this tough. What you are. I, I don't know what you want out of this. We are not cruel. It is fair. This is fair. Go. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Upside down. Ugh, come on, guys. This isn't exactly fair now. Oh, strange things Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? I know that. This isn't what... codes. I mean, aren't codes just codes? Maybe not so easy, huh? huh. Ah, freaking damn it! Am I hearing hey, us? Come on. Normally, the guy's not drawn so much each time. Do you think we want this? this? Mm. We don't want this. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry for you. I, I I really am, but whatever you're mad about, we didn't we didn't mean to sorry for us. Sorry. We're we're sorry. Sorry. We didn't get it. We are an island race. Ooh. And through all our times the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, what the hell are you talking about? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers. Twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. 
gotta pay more attention. I really have to listen to what they're saying, because it's like... Hope I haven't failed the game. What's up with you, guy? What's up with you, brother? Oh, okay. Doing this again. States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Is he dead? Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Kanaloa? We. Are sunken. Mm -hmm. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just time. Oh, thank God, he's alive. What? I thought I killed I... him. With that my was not being able not to fun. remember fights. Just take it slow and easy. You've just had an experience. Yes, yes, very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. You could have, like, couldn't you have tried a little harder there? I know, it's not like your fault, but... Oh, give me a friggin' break! Those questions were impossible! How can you expect Wait, me to... we lost, right? The whole hangman got drawn. So isn't there, like, some sort of... penalty? <coughs> Clarissa! Oh, yeah. Finally. Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa. Oh, oh, look at this. Yay. The super twins decided to grace me with we their present. So I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So... Uh, okay, don't even start, Clarissa. We came. We're here. Be happy. All right, don't get all, you know, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa... I want to hear it from Alex. No, Clarissa, of course not. The radio's our way out. You're the... Way out's appendage. Well, this appendage found the radio, so remember that when you're back at home, safe and sound, and snuggled with your stuffed animals. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yes, of course. I am quite a handyman. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> Really? No, 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 isn't there a way to... Officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, wait. What? We already did this. You already said that.